Hello guys, welcome to my channel Civilology, the study of civil engineering. Today, in this video, we are going to calculate the quantity of concrete in stairs. Okay, in other words, you can say how to calculate the volume of concrete required for stairs. Okay, this is going to be very simple, easy and fast and we are going to follow these four steps. The step number one is how to calculate the volume of waste lab volume of steps will be calculated and then volume of landing will be calculated and then these all values will be added to calculate the total volume required for these stairs okay so before we start our today's topic if you are new to my channel you are requested to please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get informative videos so guys let's start our today's topic First of all, let us have the diagram of stairs for which we are going to calculate the quantity of concrete. Okay, the this is the elevation or you can say the front view or side view of the stairs to just to give you an idea how the stairs will look like. Okay, and this is the plane of the stairs. Okay, plane of the same stair, the one you are seeing over here. Okay and these are the number of steps 1 2 3 up to 13 and then there is landing as similarly as you can see over here this is step number 1 then 2 3 up to 13 and then there is landing okay so let's proceed towards our first step and then there are some details as you can see over here in the plan of the stair that this size the size of this step is two feet okay width of step number one is two feet and then all of the steps having width equal to one feet okay or you can say the tread is one feet for rest of the steps and the first step is a bit you can say wider okay whose width is two feet and the rest of the sets uh, steps as you can say from 2 to 13 having the width equal to one foot okay and the width of the landing is three feet and you can see over here the width of the stairs you can say the width from here to here is three feet the width of the stair is three feet okay and this is the west slab West slab is the slab which supports the steps of the stairs. Okay. Now you can see over here if we separate the steps from the west slab, the red line indicates that this portion, this portion is actually the west slab which supports the stairs or steps of the stairs. Okay. And let's, uh, uh, the first step is to calculate the length of the west slab. As you can see over here, this is the distance this distance is equal to 12 feet as we know that from this step to this step there are total 12 number of steps if we start from here and go towards in this direction there are totally 12 number of steps and each the tread is one foot each tread is one foot so this horizontal distance will be equal to 12 feet okay and the vertical distance is six feet which means that each riser is equal to six inches this riser is equal to six inches which means that the total distance will be equal to six feet vertical distance will be equal to six feet as the total number of steps are equal to 12 okay i hope you are getting a point this will be clear to you in the at the end of the video uh, when you will calculate the uh, concrete in steps okay this will be made clear to you okay uh, first of all let us calculate the length of the west slab by applying the pythagoras theorem or pythagorean theorem under root 12 square which is the horizontal distance plus 6 square this is actually square okay 6 square okay by simplifying it we will get 13.42 13.42 is this distance the one you are seeing with dashed lines in red color this is the inclined distance inclined distance of the west slab 
and the second step is to calculate the volume of waste slab and to calculate the volume we will multiply length length of the slab this is the width of the slab and this is the thickness of the slab so the volume will be equal to 20.13 cubic feet okay this is the volume of this slab which is 20.13 cubic feet okay now proceeding towards the step number three is to calculate the volume of first step we are calculating it separately because the width of first step is uh, two feet and the rest of the steps having width equal to one feet okay that's why we are calculating it separately so the volume of first step is three which is the width of the stair okay multiply by two which is the top tread or uh, you can say this distance is two feet this distance this as you can see over here this distance is three feet okay and the thickness thickness of the uh, you can say the thickness of each step is uh, six inches which is equal to 0 0.5 feet so the volume will be equal to three cubic feet for first step okay the step number four is to calculate the volume of remaining steps just keep in your mind that total number of steps are 12 okay if you look at this when we separated the west lab from steps we get this triangle as you can see over here this is in the shape of triangle and as you can see over here this distance the tread the tread is one fit and the riser is half fit which is 0 0.5 fit and to calculate the area as we know that this is right angle triangle and for right angle triangle area can be calculated as half times base times its height okay this is the either of one, one of them is base and one of them is height okay this is the formula for calculation of area of a right angle triangle times width of the stair and the width of the stair is three feet and there are 12 number of steps you will get the volume of remaining steps by simplifying this which is equal to nine cubic feet okay step number five now to calculate the volume of landing as you can see over here in this plan the width of the landing is three feet and this width is also three feet uh, you can say the length is three feet and the width is three feet by multiplying this 0 0.5 is the thickness of the slab and we will get 4.5 cubic feet okay now the sixth step is to sum up all these values by simplifying first one is 20.13 which is the volume of west lab then there is three feet which is the volume of first step and then there is nine feet which is the volume of remaining steps and volume of landing by adding all these values we will get the total volume of concrete required for this lab which is 36.63 i hope you have liked this video for more videos you are requested to please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates that's all for today